Hello, I am Council Member Susan Lamb, and we are at Kirk Levington Park in the heart of the 4th District. We have Michelle Franzetti and Justin Carey from our Division of Parks and Recreation. Michelle, can you tell us about our parks and how many we have in Lexington? So we have 103 parks in Re Lexington. Some of them are small in their neighborhood parks all the way up to our larger regional parks like Jacobson or Masterson Station that a lot of people know about. Wow, that's awesome. How many, uh, what is so special about Kirk Levington? Kirk Levington is a really neat park because it is probably one of our most well-rounded parks in our park system. You have trails that are both paved and lit. You have a playground, basketball, volleyball, pickleball, all these great things to enjoy for lots of different audiences in this park. Awesome. So we have some new exercise stations installed here. So tell us a little bit about what, what this machine is. So yeah, we have these new exercise stations and up first is our bicycle crank or our hand bicycle rather. And this is a really neat machine. It is intended for people who are 13 and older, but almost anybody over that age would be able to use it. You can use it standing and decide to crank one at a time or you can try to match them up, whatever is most comfortable for you. And the great thing about this machine is it's also ADA accessible, so someone visiting us in a wheelchair would also be able to use this piece of equipment. Why don't we move to the next station and let's see what it, what it has to offer. Justin, thank you for being here today to show us about this equipment. Why are these pieces so important for our community? Uh, Parks and Rec has a goal of, of installing equipment that is free and accessible to all parts of our community. Uh, these right alongside a walking trail we feel do a good job of that. Uh, you can incorporate them in your walking or make them an exercise or a regimen unto themselves. Awesome, that's cool. So how do we use this one? So this one is titled the captain's chair again for 13 ages or 13 years uh, and up and it, what you would do put your arms on the rest, hang your feet and then you can raise your legs to engage your, your stomach and core muscles straight up and down you can go to the side if you'd like either way um, really get you know as creative as you like in terms of how you want to use this piece of equipment but again uh, i think it's a good complement to other uh, activities you might be doing in the park awesome the next piece of equipment it's a chest press so can you uh, demonstrate how this is operated and again it looks like this is another ada piece sure certainly so um if you happen to be in a wheelchair and are 13 years of older you could wheel your chair here and you'd be in a, in a position similar to this where you could just use the chest press like this. And then on the other side, you've got a similar movement but with a chair. And you'd simply sit down and continue to press like this and it works out your chest, shoulders and arms. And the nice part is, is there are instructions on each of the pieces of equipment, right? Absolutely. Each, each piece of equipment has detailed instructions as to how to use them and also diagrams as to which muscle groups that they engage and work out. Awesome. Well, let's move over to this one. So this is, this is a leg press. You would sit down on the seat, plant your feet on the foot rest, and then using your leg muscles, extend your legs and push yourself up. This machine you actually use your own body weight. Um, so just about anyone can do this. Uh, again, you're only lifting your weight um, and it works out your legs and, 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 th and calves. Awesome, cool. So Michelle and Justin, what about this piece of equipment? So Justin is demonstrating our back extension piece of equipment and this is really great for developing a healthy lower back. Lots of people thinking about working out their core, but this is a great balance to a core workout, making sure your lower back is nice and healthy. Cool. And then we have next to it, it is a... This is our sit-up station. So instead of having to get down on the ground or anything like that, you can place your feet behind this bar and do some sit-ups. 
Again, this is great for the core and makes a really nice complement to working at your lower back. And it's been interesting to watch because when you're up here, you see people that are going around the, the nine tenths of a mile walk track and then they actually are stopping here as they're walking around each time and they're taking time to do their exercises in between. Right, and matching cardio with some muscular endurance makes for a really great overall healthy workout. That's great, that's fantastic. Up next we have a lat pull down machine and just like we saw in some of our other machines you do have an option that if you are in a wheelchair you can come up and use it as Justin's doing or in a squatted position. So this machine, he's pulling down for resistance, which makes all the work on top of his shoulders and his biceps. So this is really great for when you're getting something heavy off a shelf. Doing workouts like this are gonna how, you, how you're gonna keep yourself from getting injured. Awesome, cool. It's really nice that we have these that are ADA compliant. So we need to stress that to our uh, public for, for their use. I guess there are, are there different ways that you can hold on to them? You can adjust your grip for whatever's most comfortable for you. You're gonna be using the same main muscle groups as you work out, but depending on your body type and your build, you might prefer a different grip. Cool, awesome, awesome. Well, Michelle and Justin, I really appreciate today. This has really been exciting and I cannot say how thrilled I am to have these additions uh, in our park. The 4th District has many parks to enjoy, including Veterans Park, Bellawood Park, Kirk Levington Park, Zandale Park, we have Meadowbrook Park and the golf course, and we have Wildwood Park, and of course we are next to the Arboretum, which is beautiful. As the weather gets warmer, make sure to visit these great green spaces. We are truly lucky to have so many great parks in our city. To learn more about our parks and recreation facilities and activities, visit the website below or you can call the number listed. Thank you for joining us today and have a wonderful day. Get out and play.